Hi, how are you guys doing? Uh, and today we're talking about watches. We're just starting off watches as an investment. And I have Pastor Toby in the building. Pastor Toby is going to join me. Okay. Okay. Um, instead, uh, I think I should do... Uh, Facebook here. Where's my Facebook? Um, Pastor Toby. I thought I just saw him now. Yes, Pastor Toby, say hi. So I can invite you. So the topic is our watches investments. Mm -hmm. Pastor Toby Adeboiga, say hi. I haven't seen your hi, so I can bring you on. Copy. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I guess that should be fine i'm trying to launch okay pastor toby adeboiga said hi go live with pastor test instagram or else it might be a bit difficult hey pastor toby finest boy <laughs> how are you doing okay. i'm gonna see freshness how are you sir i go fresh like this i will just do my own black in fact let me off my camera <laughs> Only my voice. They don't begin to compare us. <laughs> yeah, ready now. How are you doing, Pastor Toby? How are you, sir? I'm doing very well. You know, you and I had a conversation um, over uh, uh, my video did a few weeks back yeah. with regards to watches as an investment. Uh, and today, um, apparently we're walking in the spirit because for absolutely no reason, yeah. there was a post I did. I don't know if you checked my Instagram today where people were talking about investments. Yeah. So yeah. it just came to the fore again, the need for us to have certain conversations that our parents didn't have with us. Yes, absolutely. It's not like our parents are wrong. It's just that the age they grew up in yeah. is totally different yeah. from the age that we are in today. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, before I even bring you on, Pastor Toby, I would like to read this post to you. Okay. It all started with a video I did. Uh, from Instagram, where some guy said um, purses, cars, and uh, houses are not investments. I don't know if you saw that video. Yes, I saw it. Okay. I... So, um, sorry, I'm trying to get YouTube logged on to because I don't want them to miss this session. This is going to be a really powerful uh, session, especially uh, when I have you here and I have you in a watch shop. So, <laughs> This, this is, is going to be a defining moment. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's some conversations our parents didn't have that we should be yes. having. And this is one of them. Yeah. Uh, mm. Many people, if you had 500 million and you bought two, and you took that 500 million and you bought two Richard Mill watches, most people think you're being wasteful buying the watches and you're being prudent buying the land. Yeah. Many people do not understand the power of watches as an investment. I have, in my short life, seen 
and experienced the what bubble. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, and I'm loading up for YouTube now. Like I said, I don't want YouTube to miss out of this powerful session. Paste done. Okay, here goes. We're live on Facebook. YouTube and Instagram, okay? So there goes. I think we're good now, okay? All right, guys, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, can you hear me? I've got Pastor Toby in the wristwatch shop. And earlier on, I, a, a gentleman put up a video saying houses can be liabilities. And Skooky Pichon, the famous uh, relationship counselor, said this he said a house that you buy and living is a liability not an asset the middle class has been brainwashed for decades on this concept in nigeria buying a house and putting up for rent is dead business because you pay full cash to buy a home here unlike the america or the uk where you can yeah. buy a home by putting 20 down payments in Nigeria, you buy your house for 50 million, for instance, because we don't have a mortgage system. He went on and on and on and discussed this. And then Young Six, brilliant rapper, uh, uh, tended to disagree. He said, not necessarily the value of the house stays. You can collect rent for two years, reevaluate the house you bought for 50 and sell for 70. Uh, Kathy, now Kathy the dancer, now raised the point. She said, people don't even factor the economy. If you make your money in, t uh, if you make your money, if even if you make your money in 20 years, what's the status of the Naira then? A very important factor. And I gave this concept, Pastor Toby. A friend bought a house for 45 million in 2012 at 166 Naira to a dollar, which was about $272,000. Nine years later, after collecting 3.5 million Naira a year, a total of 31.5 million Naira in nine years, the person sold a house for 90 million, plus the 31.5 million came to a total of 121.5 million. Guess what? That is still just $245,000. If the person had kept the money in the bank without touching it, she would have had her $272,000 intact. Yeah. Yeah. So, how do you spend $279,000, earn money on it every year for nine years, and sell it, do so much back and forth, in, only for you to still end up losing money? Meanwhile, if you understood watches, yeah. and you bought two Richard Meals. Yeah. yeah. In 2012, the RM11 uh, Grosjean, for instance, I'm sure they, they're aware of that watch in, in the watch shop, was going for about $185,000. All right. If you had bought one of that and maybe one uh, RM6701, that's the flat, you could have squeezed those two or maybe that and the RM23, uh, for instance. Today, only the 11 Grosjean is $500,000. Yeah, true. true. So there's no way you'd have walked away with this after rocking the watches. That's if you are careful enough and they don't get stolen. Even if they get stolen, they insure, it, many people insure their watches. So you'd have made so much money after looking rich, feeling cool, and still almost tripling, if not more than tripling, your money. So we need to start having some of these this discussions. Uh, Facebook, are you guys hearing? Oh, I'm so sorry. Network is really bad on Facebook. I'm going to have to relaunch Facebook. So Pastor Toby, Adegboega, finally, I want to welcome you here and I want to hand the floor over to you. So please go ahead. So about two Thursdays ago, um, you came online, and I, I, I'm, I'm always online with you as much as I, I can. I people need to hear you. So I said about two, two Thursdays ago or so, you were online. So I said, yes. Hey, let me just hear some more, you know. So I came online, and you were talking about watches. Hmm. Oh, wow. This is interesting. I've never heard you talk about watches before. 
Hmm. I had the Bible when I hear everything, but this was but listen, let me hear that free. And it was so educative. Hmm. Wow. That of course there's not gonna have conversation about watches, but you were there. Yep. Call you on WhatsApp, so I'll have you both on WhatsApp and uh, because you're breaking a bit. Uh, okay, let me call you live. So I'll have the audio here. Pick your call. Pastor Toby, the volume is breaking on Instagram, so I want to have your voice on here. Your volume is breaking. I don't know if it's your network or mine. Okay. Let, let me, so I should pick the... <laughs> you are clear now. You're clear now. Continue, continue in that light. You're clear now. Maybe it's the Okay, I'm fine. Man. Okay, so I said I was watching you. Then you were speaking about watches. Then I thought, oh, how strange. This is so strange. So I came up. I was listening to you. I think you were talking about a musician that just bought an harem for half a million or so. <laughs> a burner boy. Aha. Uh -huh. And you were trying to educate the people. But I said, because it's not a usual conversation, because when people hear watches, they say, oh, you've spent 100K on this watch. They say, oh, wow, this is lo They think it's just luxury. Hmm. But I think what is interesting to me is that watches, like you said, it can be luxury and it can be investment. You keep the watch well, you've saved your money, and it's in pounds, it's in foreign currency, not the depreciating Naira. Hmm. And so this, this particular shop where I'm in now is called Pristine Watches. Um, so one day, the, the story is interesting. So one day someone walked up to me in church and she was struggling with her uh, um, immigration papers. She needed to pay lawyers and she was asking for money. So I didn't have money, but I had a watch. I had just one watch at the time. So I went on Google. I went to search out where can I sell the watch so that I can give her money to go pay lawyers for our immigration stuff because that was all we had. And the woman, the lady was important to me. So I went on Google, I went to this shop, then I said to them, look, I'm going to buy this watch back, but this person needs help. So would you keep it? Would you give me money and keep it? So the young guy, very small shop at the time, the young guy, 22 at the time, looked at me and said, I think I like you. I'm going to give you the money for the watch, um, but I'll keep it. So he kept it. And then we developed the relationship until from their little kiosks, they moved into this place. At that time, that was my first realization of how much watch can be a ready mm. help in time of need. That was, that, that's why I'm telling that story in short. So, They've grown big as well. I've watched them seven years. I've been with them for seven years. We worked together for seven years and they've grown to whatever they are now and stuff like that. So that was how um, she got her papers. The lady got her papers. What saved us was, was that watch. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what a motivational story. What a motivational story. Uh, sorry, I've been back and forth in Facebook. That's fine. Right. On this, I why the audio was bad earlier on, but I think it's getting sorted. Wow. Okay. With the proceeds of a watch, yeah. uh, you were able to clear someone's immigration status. Absolutely, yes. You still had your watch back because oh, yeah. you pays your money, you go get your watch back. Yeah, absolutely. I, have, I still have that watch till now. <laughs> personally, I have made quite uh some money on some of my investments i have a uh chocolate dial daytona okay i'm sure they're aware of what that is in in that watch shop yeah i have a chocolate dial daytona i have a uh submarina okay the one called the incredible hulk mm. yeah i have eight justs 
the day dates. I have the 40 mm day dates. The first 40 mm day date that officially came to Nigeria through an authorized dealer was mine. Oh, wow. Because I pre ordered it before it was released. This was, okay. I think, in 2015, before the 40 mm uh, yeah. day date was released. Yeah. I got my uh, rose gold. Yeah. So, <laughs> while I'm because I pay, I bought that watch on a plan. I was like, well, I'll give you this amount of money every month so it wouldn't hurt me. Okay. Yeah. I paid 80% of the money. The 20% that was left, because the yeah. Naira had fallen and doubled, the 20% yeah. went so high that I almost could not afford to pay back. <laughs> Luckily wow. for me, when I was buying, I hedged it in, in dollars. So okay. I was only required to pay back because I was going to give them the watch. Yeah. Dollar went from 70 naira to 500 naira. Yeah. So it's like on the 20% margin that was that was owing. Okay. But for me, uh, I got a really good deal from Jennifer and she maintained that 20% in such a way that I only had to end up paying um, the value in what it was hedged originally, if not after. Okay. Wow. Look, look so, at this, Daddy Freeze. This is, a, a, this is a day toner. Yes. That's a platinum a... toner. Platinum, yes. <laughs> That's platinum. My watches. That's a platinum Daytona. So imagine if someone got this in 2015, it was 35k. That watch is a hundred and something k now. Yeah, hundred percent. That watch is a hundred and something k. <laughs> so since 2015, that means you've made about about oh, no. 70k. 70k in um that's how many years now yeah that's about 10k a year <laughs> and you still have your watch you still have your stock you still have your good look oh wow i love this <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Get your guys to look at it. I mean, look at this. Look at this watch. Hi, how are you doing, sir? You okay? That's a nice watch. It's a very good watch. Hi, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well. How are you? It's chocolate dial um, Daytona. Yes. Amazing watch. Thank you very much. There's a new one out. He said it's gone up heavy in price. It's up yeah, price. it's gone up. It's gone up. See, I still, as I saw right. the rubber Yeah. <laughs> this, good. It's an amazing watch. That you can't go wrong with the chocolate dial Daytona. You can't go wrong with a chocolate dial Daytona. <laughs> and hold on a second. Let me show you something else. Look at this. Okay, so the Submariner Hulk. So this one is just the Hulk. Continued, okay. I used to sell them in 2015 16. I used to sell them for five thousand pounds a piece. Right now, they, I'm selling them for sixteen thousand pounds. Wow, yeah, wow. Considering this back in the days, it was a five grand retail price, yeah, selling them for five thousand yeah. is already amazing, yeah. But now that they discontinued, they're going for sixteen thousand. So, wow, considering what the retail price was back then, and when they got discontinued, which was about seven, seven fifty. What they're worth now is, is amazing. Wow. It's just a steel watch. Wow. Yeah, it's just a steel, steel watch. Just a steel watch. Yeah. Moving from five thousand dollars to sixteen thousand dollars. Yeah. In a short period. That's a Patek Nautilus. That's right. Can I see it well? Cheers. Cheers. That's a Nautilus stainless steel. Yeah. Wow. This watch now is going for about. Sorry, my pricing is in dollars. About seventy-five thousand yeah, dollars. Uh, yeah, so that's about eighty-five thousand pounds. About, oh wow! About, about yeah. that, that underestimated it. Stainless steel. Stainless steel, because stainless steels they 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 keep money. If you know watches, see yeah. guys, this is stainless steel. Mm. This is pure rose gold on a leather strap. Yeah. This one is more valuable than this one. This one made about 
thirty percent. You didn't lose money, oh. You're still mm. making this. Yeah. This one hold in value. Yeah, yeah. Let me show the unit still. Mm. Yeah. Always make sure you put the protective case back. I don't joke with that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, beautiful. Then I've got the oh fight, fight. Yeah. Where, where's the harem? The the purple harem face. The what? The harem. What harem? The harem. The, the, pink, pink the Richard Mill. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll get it out. Okay. Yeah. You, you know what I love about this harem is the lightest. Yeah. It's oh wow. Light. Harems are made out of material called NTPT. Oh. Right. They are so durable and so light because RMs are supposed to be sports watches. Yes. So before you get right. RM gold, gold is a heavy uh, metal. metal. So they don't yes. use mess around with gold too much. They'll rather put a little bit of titanium because titanium is a light metal. Yeah. And what they sell to you is a brand and a manufacturing process that is second to none. Yeah. And I don't think a single RM that depreciated in value. Oh, I, so that think so too. I love watches and I love talking about watches. And when no, I say beautiful, you are my God, who is talking about watches too, we'll definitely click. You're, you're my you're my watch coach now. <laughs> 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 this this RM here. Let me see. Don't worry, don't shoot me. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, let me look at it well. Can I see the size? This is an RM67. Ask him, is that a 67? Guys, yeah, 6702. 6702, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. NTP. Okay, guys, we have to give this to Daddy Freeze now, the way he's decoding these watches. Whoa. It's NTPT. Ask him. He'll tell you that that material is NTPT. NTPT. The likeness is amazing. It's amazing. That is like, how much is that? 400,000? This is about 250. 250,000 pounds, which would be about $350. Yeah. 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 I was so shocked about the likeness of this watch. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's almost negligible. Yeah, almost negligible. 250K for this. <laughs> but bro, trust me, you buy this watch, you are ne unless they steal it from you, you are not going to lose a single dollar on this watch. I yeah. can guarantee you. To sell your house and buy that watch, I will tell you to sell your house and buy that watch. You will not five years from now. Wow. You'll be it types to. So, Daddy Fizz, let me ask you: How did you? Yeah. How did you get into the watch world? How? Because the, you you are on point with this thing, man. It's unbelievable. Um, it all start. I've always liked watches, but right. at the time I could only afford Timex mm. and watch. Mm. So. Actually, stretch it a little bit. Let's get a bomb and Mercier, you know, or a T sword. Yeah. After a while, one day, I just walked past the Rolex shop and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. You know how you psych yourself up when you want to go and toast a fine girl? You understand? Or you want to go and ask your dad for some extra money for school? You yeah. go to the door, you turn back. No, 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 no. You have. Those um, sweaty moments where you break out in a cold sweat and then you change your mind. I went back and forth. Oh my God, I said no. At that time, it was a Milgors, a right. Rolex Milgors uh, with a green face. Okay. So I was like, you know, it was about $7,000 back then. I walked mm. in and I just paid. Luckily for me, $7,000 wow. then was like 1.1. Okay. <laughs> Or one point, it was not. I mean, there wasn't plenty money like that in Naira, so I was yeah. able to brave it. You know. Okay. Then after that, wow. I was coming back from a trip in two thousand and two, <laughs> and I saw mm. this. Sorry, uh, two thousand and twelve, and I okay. saw this watch in the UK. Right. I was like, wow. 
Wow. So I came back to Nigeria, started calling Jennifer. By the way, Jennifer, um, Jennifer Obaiwana, uh, okay. where her father owns one of the only authorized Rolex boutiques in Nigeria. At the point, at that point, uh, oh. only authorized Rolex shop. Now okay. I think there's another. Yeah. My people are just saying they know, they know, yeah, okay. They know Polo. Yeah. That's the only authorized. Oh. So I called Jennifer. And you see, my problem with Jennifer, Jennifer will give you a good deal. And she will match that UK price. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> I said, Jennifer, I want this watch. Jennifer said, okay, yeah, they have to make it for you. Because then it was so new, they didn't have it in stock. Mm. So order for me. Okay. So I put down the down payment. And I was waiting. And six months later, my watch is not here yet. Mm. That six months, I finished paying the full price. So I'm sitting at home waiting for my watch and one day they call me and say hey your watch is here right went there slammed it on my wrist my smile was from here to here <laughs> wow so it, it was it's it's a journey uh and one thing i've learned is with watches like richard mill yeah rolex yeah audemars piguet and patek philippe it is very hard to lose money. Very yeah. hard. Yeah. The wow. way Patex, not just those, the Aquanauts, yeah, and even some other models always appreciate. Now yeah. you don't enjoy that with Cartier, with brand. When you buy a Cartier, yeah. you know you buy because you like it. Yeah. You might end up, you might be lucky to lose money, but don't expect the Rolex. Yeah, uh, the robustness of yeah, yeah. You get that from Breguet. You might not get that from Hublot too, to a large extent. You would, but not like Rolex, right? And Rolex, yeah. not listen. With fifty thousand dollars, you get a gold Rolex. With mm. fifty thousand dollars, you get stainless steel Patek. With hundred thousand dollars, you don't even get stainless steel or gold mm. in Richard Mille. Mm. You get carbon. <laughs> so you, yeah. Gold yeah. is more than the state. Now, gold is value more than the gold. True. So, yeah. we learn every day as we move. And I'm very yeah. excited that we're having this conversation today. Sure. Because this is an avenue many Nigerians have failed to explore. Yeah. If you tell your dad that you bought a watch for 20 million now, you'll think you are running <laughs> mad. You'll think, yeah. Yeah, with <laughs> that's <laughs> but guess what? See, yeah, yeah if I were relo to relocate and I yeah. wore two watches, one and one watch, as I was entering the UK, yeah, I straight into pristine watches, for instance, yeah, I will get enough money to put a down payment for my house, true, yeah, and money to be managing yeah, on the. <laughs> When I can get myself. Yes. You can't yes. sell the Banana Island house in London like that. No way. No, and you that's what you were saying. Up. That's what you were saying in that broadcast that really got me. You were saying if you have to leave a country, what would you what can you take to another nation that will give you a head start? So that was quite that's wisdom. You see, what this I I have these oh, ones. that's a new. Yes, the new. Yeah. Royal, yeah. That's not the. That's not the offshore. That's just the Royal Oak chronograph, right? Yeah, yeah. In uh, rose gold. Yeah, rose gold. That's a beautiful. <laughs> piece. That's wow. a beautiful, you can't play with Odemar. Odemar is another strong brand. Yeah. So if you best Rolex. Stainless steel. Let me tell you where to play with. GMT Master 2s. Right. Submariners. Right. Wow, well, the way that the freeze knows his watch. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> no, no, no. I know because I all I thought wow. I wanted to be a Bible. I mean, you people think I don't have sense about anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, sir. You were telling us the ones. Yes. So um from my yes. in my humble perspective, Richard Mille, 
if you can afford it. Yeah. If you can't, you can't go wrong with Patek, but Patek too is a little on the high side. So the next step below Patek is Audemars. Audemars right. too, you won't lose your money. Rolex, you won't lose your money. Mm -hmm. Especially if you buy stainless steel. Right. So GMT Master 2, Yacht Master stainless steel, mm. um, Submarina stainless steels, even mm. the dusts. Yeah. With the dust, you can even play with two tones. That okay. is uh, stainless steel and rose gold or stainless steel and yellow gold. You would love them, especially the new day just 41 millimeters. Mm. They're lovely. Now, when you're going towards the high-end Rolexes, you need to be more careful. Right. Around the uh, sky dwellers, um, you have to be careful. You might, you won't lose money. It's hard for you to lose money on a Rolex, but you might not get, it might yeah, not have kind of exponential growth. Yeah. A Daytona stainless steel. Right. Ask them about the Daytona stainless steel ceramic bed. Ask them okay. how much is going for now. Daytona stainless Daytona, steel ceramic bezel. So retail price is ten and a half pounds. So yeah, the retail price is ten and a half thousand. But we we sell them for uh, yeah. the black twenty five and the white dial for twenty seven thousand. So they got a premium on them. That's it. Yeah. You would wait for two years to get not, those watches. If not more, you have to be a VIP client as well. So you have to buy the gold pieces first before you can get the steel sports pieces. So they are very hard to get, hence the premium on them. Wow. So the watch is actually selling in the market, if you can get it for £10,500 thereabout. But mm. guess what? It's retailed for yeah. 25000 That is, if you can get it, <laughs> if I can... <laughs> I can yeah. eventually get it. If the next day I buy it for ten thousand five hundred dollars, the next day I'm gonna sell it for twenty five thousand. Like that. <laughs> Amazing. One of my bosses in the office, who's also a watch head, has that okay. piece. Wow. So you can see the beauty. Wow. Now Rolex will not sell unless you buy their gold watches first. They know that. Yeah, gold that's what you just said. Like yeah. the same yeah, because they know. So well, imagine, yeah. <laughs> or ten thousand pounds, and you're reselling it for twenty five thousand. And trust me, ask him if you bring that watch into the shop today, you can sit down and collect your money. Yeah. You know, there are some watches that you have to give them; they have to put on display, take them like yeah. two months, five yeah. months, <laughs> all those yeah. rock or, uh, days. It takes a while, but yeah. that watch. You you get there by by ten o'clock. The buyer is there already to pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's interesting is they'll make you buy their gold one first before the stainless. Yes. Because you know, normally what would be attractive to us is the gold watch. You say, oh, look at that watch, gold watch, gold watch, gold watch. But the stainless steel is more powerful. Then. The stainless steel is always more powerful. Always wow. more powerful. And this is a beautiful... Wow. You see, um, I don't understand the investment perspective of uh, watches and even jewelry uh, as a whole. There's so many opportunities in this um, particular sphere. Someone mm -hmm. said, you mean... Well, yes. You just heard the guy. Yeah. As in the watch sailing for 10,000 pounds. For you yeah. to get it at that pounds, you have to wait for two years plus. Mm. Wow. Amazing. You will pay down two years later, you've not got your watch. But guess what? If you want to walk into a shop today and buy it today, 25,000 pounds. But you won't get it. That's the issue. Someone who's gotten his can sell his own like this. Yeah. Let me show you the last piece here. This is a Rolex, but I know you know it already. This is... Yeah, that's a day date. Day date yeah. 36 mm. Yep, yeah, 100%. That's 41. 36 mm. 41. Day date 2. 41? Yeah. Well, oh, okay. Day, okay. Okay, yes. Yes, the 41 mm. Hmm. 
That's a nice watch. Pure gold. If you carry that watch, eh, the way the watch go heavy for your hand. <laughs> Hold on. So yeah. So imagine I was comparing the weight. The weight of these two. Okay. Let me see this. What's this for? Uh, that's a day day 40. That's a day day 40. So this 40 mm, yeah. 41. So they released this after they discontinued this one in 2015 or 16. I, can't remember. I think 2015. No, 2016, sorry. Yes. So they discontinued this one, the day day 2, and they brought out day day 40, which is one millimeter smaller. Oh, it's a wow. bit thinner. It's just a bit more refined as a watch. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, you said you Beautiful. Wow. So, yeah. um, I, I was comparing the weight. That was what I was saying of this. And because this. mine was one of the early ones. It had a factory problem. It wasn't okay. um, at 12 midnight. It wasn't crossing over the date. Okay. So I had two years for them to get the part that would make it cross over at midnight. Wow. Wow. So, so I was comparing the weight of these two. Okay. Nah. <laughs> nah. They are not the no same. No way. <laughs> this is the one of the heaviest things ever. Your gold. This, It is 18 karat gold. Yeah. <laughs> but that is what more. That will buy you 20 of it. Uh, exactly. That's the, that's the mystery of it. This is like nothing. <laughs> this is 50K. Interesting. Well, people will know what you're wearing. You're just thinking, ah, Pastor Toby is wearing a plastic swatch. Yeah. <laughs> they will not know it from people's house. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're, we're doing a um, stainless stainless steel Rolex giveaway. So I, I, what I did was to keep the um, competition open until after this conversation. I'll wait till Monday. So if there's anyone watching, you can still get lucky. Um, I think if you go on the page, the Gold Nation page. What? Hello? What is your page? Gold Nation. Gold, the word gold. Gold, gold Nation. TV. Gold Just TV. Nation. Type I can pin it so people can see it. Okay. okay. I'll be doing on the Okay, I think I put it there. Is that correct? Let me pin it. Okay. Check what I pinned. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. I can't see it yet, guys, so you've got to tell me. It's painted already. Okay, I think Gold on TV is already there in that. What do oh, you yes. think of this? Yes, that's correct. Gold Nation okay. TV. Just All drop right, a so comment there, then we we'll do a draw. Maybe it can start off someone in their watch life. Yes. <laughs> yes. Maybe you could start... Yeah. You know, maybe yeah. you could also join some of us on this side of the equation. I need I need to join you, dude, sir. Daddy free. And where do you keep your watch? <laughs> I, bank. I brought them out today because of Pastor. They are in the bank. Long, long, long. So they are safe, no? <laughs> <laughs> because no, I, I mean, probably that we're going to have this conversation. I wow. just went anytime. I'm sure if you go on my page regularly, if you go back, you'd see me wear all these watches. But of recent, as I've seen that the prices are edging up, ah, I can't yeah. believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, what do you think about Vacheron? I love Vacheron Constantin as a brand. I love their overseas. I love their Kedulil. But is not a brand you hedge on. It's a brand you love and appreciate. Yeah. So that, that, 
I think that's why we don't deal with them here because we need to deal with something that is easy to sell if you want to sell. Yeah. Easy to flip. And that's just Rolex, RM, AP, Pate. I think Pate, those four. Otherwise, you can buy a restaurant for, uh, for whatever amount you want, but to flip it. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. You have you, you have um, Nigerians yeah. used to love. Pate is also a good brand. Oh, my. The level of Rolex and uh, AP, Patek, Richard Mille. Piaget, yeah. you also do stainless steel, you would, you would hold your value. The Polo series are nice, is a nice series. Frank Mueller, too. I uh, was going to say Frank Mueller. That Nigerians loved Frank Mueller in those days. And Jacob and Co. Jacob and Co. Jacob and Co. is a very... Jacob and Co.'s movement and his uh, jewelry work in his... Yes. Uh, uh, is exceptional. Yes. Would I read the Jacob and Co.? And one thing many of our Nigerian brothers, they like to wear fake. Our Nigerian brother, when we are talking about Rolex, it's not the one you bought for 250,000 naira. That one don't be Rolex. That one <laughs> Rolex you for 2.5 million naira and less. Warn yourself. <laughs> about 7,000 pounds, 7,000 dollars, second hand. Yeah. Unless you all day just. Yeah. Yeah, then we're just Frank, talking about we're just talking yeah. about Nigerians and big watches. Less than seven thousand dollars. So how do you buy two million naira? Yeah, for that fake you buy. <laughs> <laughs> so so like, some, someone someone would actually think they bought the real, isn't it? They would actually believe they Um, there are many things we believe without cross checking. Two fifty k. Two fifty k naira. How can you buy a Rolex and you think it is real? Hold it when you're in a flog you. There was one joke day when we were growing up. Mm. Hey, they said, um, Orago, Orago 5,000, uh, 5 naira. Olo te 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 ko your calculator. Yeah. <laughs> As you say, you bought what for five naira? You go yeah. say the press, the press, I don't see the calculator. You don't see it. Oh, you know when the craze. Oh, right. Wow. Well, wow, I'm inspired by this. Thank you for, for starting this conversation some few weeks ago because otherwise, None of us will come online and speak about watches, but it's a conversation to have so that yeah. our, our predecessors can begin to see it more than luxury. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, Pastor Toby. Mm. <laughs> it, it's uh, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, too. Um, and thank you for listening. And thank you for also considering to give away uh, something into someone's life. I like you for that. You're always sewing. Always. Always. Pastor Toby Han, eh? he long from here. Rich. <laughs> he just like, like, I know him for that. He's my guy. Yo. And he knows. <laughs> he to say, likes so. to give. He's generous to a fault. Okay. That's one thing I respect about him. So thank you so much, Pastor Toby. Thank you for coming. Thank on. you. And I had, I had I had an amazing conversation with the economist today. Oh, yes. I hooked you up with that. How did it go? Yes, you did. You did. It was a very fantastic interview. Um, the, the man was blown away. We, we had a very good conversation. We, we talked from how we build our economy to our controversies to everything, which he has researched as well. So we had a very intelligent conversation, which is always the problem because... When people want to ask about your controversy, they don't have intelligent conversations. So it's quite, but this was an intelligent conversation. Why do you think I recommend, of all the people I know, why do you think I recommended you to him?
<laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Why? When we conversation um, yeah. about the economy of churches and blah, 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 I said, ah, there's somebody who has been inside this business longer than I have and has more background knowledge. I said, you know what? Let me talk to you about it. And I know you would have delivered on that. I know you have. When is the magazine coming out? It should be out next week. I think next week sometime. He hasn't given a specific date, but sometime next week or so. I'm definitely going to look out for that. It will be an interesting read. I hope I don't get in trouble with Nigerian pastors. I hope they don't ask I... my head, but... <laughs> <laughs> Inside the trouble that I'm already with all of <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you for that. All I right. I to mention that. Thank you so much and God bless. Looking forward to the article. And also, like I always say, every day we learn. Absolutely. We learn. Absolutely. It is of our growth pattern, it is the reality of our existence. Absolutely. We to grow by learning. Absolutely. Thank you, Pastor Toby. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Cheers. Bye.